Uh, let's clean up our application by moving some of our er error handling code into helper methods. So uh, this will help us update uh, our concerns and stop us repeating the code as we progress through the build. So I'm going to create a helpers.go file under CMD web directory. Helpers.go. So uh, here I'm going to create a helpers method for every error like uh, server error, uh, one uh, one helper method for server error, one helper method for client error, one help uh, one helper method for uh, not a page not found error. So I am going to create package main import empty HTTP time slash debug then I'm going to create one I'm going to create a helper method for server error HTTP dot response writer This is status text. The status text could be internal server error. This is the internal server error. Status internal server error. Okay, uh, this method is for uh, server error, and we are going to create an uh, other two helper methods for uh, client error and page not found error. Okay. Says client error. It's a DDP. Response writer. And here, this is we are going to give the status hint. HTTP dot error response writer and then http dot status text status and then status and I'm going to write one more helper method for uh, for not for not found. Not found method. Not 
constructor app dot client header http dot status not found error okay okay sorry this is not http this is net slash http okay now it's fine so uh, in the server error uh, helper we use the debug dot stack stack method function to get the stack trace for the current go routine and append it to, to the append it to the log message being able to see the execution path of the application why this track trace can be helpful when uh, we are trying to debug errors and in a client errors helper we use the http dot status text status text function to automatically generate a human friendly text representation of a given http status code for example http dot uh, http dot status text of 400 will return a string bad request and then uh, we have started using a net http package named constants for http status code status status codes instead of in integers we are not giving any uh, status code integers we are just giving the http status codes so in the server error in the server er error helper we have used the constant uh, http dot status internal server error okay http dot uh, dot status internal server error actually uh, here we are uh, we, we, we are we are supposed to place the internal server error status code int but this directly http dot status uh, internal server error will give the will return the code and using the status constraints is a nice touch which helps make you make our code clear and self documenting especially when uh, dealing with the less commonly used status codes uh, we can find complete list of status codes uh, online HTTP status codes here in the goal these are the status codes uh, the list of status codes here it doesn't matter okay you can find here So once we created these methods, we can use these methods in handlers.co. Okay, uh, I have this is the page not found error, and this is the server error, and this is also server error. I have one more. This is client error. Okay, so I'm going to replace the code with these uh, error helper methods. App dot not form of response writer. And then I'm going to delete these two lines. App dot server error. One is the response writer. Another one is error. So I'm going to copy and paste here. Copy. Because it is a server error, server error as well. And this last one is client error. So here I'm going to delete this header like app dot client error the response writer comma uh, this client error returns the status code http dot status with the not allowed.
okay we don't have any problems no problems have been detected in the workspace so far so i'm going to restart the server okay server is started and i'm going to check the web application okay so wait MPL. So I'm going to refresh the page. So it's working. So we are going to create an error deliberately. So I'm going to rename this file because it will going to give the internal server error because page. Okay. In dot com handlers, but uh, here we mentioned. Uh, home.page.tmpl but uh, uh, we have only home.page.t so I'm going to restart the server uh, here it should internal server error okay it returns and then here uh, it gives the details of the each and every file where exactly we we did a mistake okay in the server error in the server side okay uh, if you look closely you will notice a small problem uh, file name uh, helpers.co okay handlers okay page.tmpl helpers.co okay so you can uh, modify that error where exactly we did a mistake. This is one way of doing error handling. So this is called centralized error handling. I hope you understand guys. Uh, what we did that we have created a separate helper, uh, helper error methods for the whole application. We can take these error methods uh, in hand uh, if you if you want to use this uh, helpers uh, helper error helper methods in handlers or somewhere else we want to use these helpers. Okay, I hope you understand. Thank you guys. Bye bye.